and welcome to another video I've uh, got a special piece of equipment here just downloaded this mod and uh, using it on this uh, Woodshire map that I um, just returned to for the first time in roughly about four years since I've uh, last been on this map so uh, just spending some time here changing some things uh, in the previous video I did some soil samples across the road after uh, going through some of the equipment and uh, I also completed soil samples on uh, that side of the, uh, on this side. There's a field over there behind the tree line. And I think, <laughs> I just realized I may have not sent the soil samples in for analysis. Let me check here. Yeah, forgot to do that. There we go. Okay, so it's going to be just a couple seconds for those to be analyzed. And then I'm going to go ahead and roll this into the field, probably plant uh, maybe canola and use GPS for that. And as you can see, the field over here uh, was potato, I think, at some point, or that's what the, uh, yeah, that's what the map is saying. Oops. Yeah, so it was potatoes. They're dead now, and I'm just going to use my uh, no-till planter and just roll right over it. Uh, no tilling or cultivating needed uh, with this specialized planter. And I'm really excited to operate this uh, uh, Axion and see how it does because I've never used one of these before for planting. So there we go. Soil samples just came back. I'm going to go to the precision farming map and see what we have. So uh, let me get that to stand out a little bit. This is where we currently are. Field 7 is the hay field and field 9 is what I'm about to plant. Uh, as you can see, uh, definitely need some nitrogen, but I'm going to plant first. And uh, just to get that taken care of. Um, mostly loam on that field uh, for soil type. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Just switch this. There we go. And I was uh, I was surprised how many lights this thing has. <laughs> it's fully lit up, and like that'll be handy uh, for planting in the uh, darker hours of the day. So let's head over. Let's see, I have to. I'm gonna do a little U turn here and just drive around. Oops. Plus, I love the little detail to how the door opening closes. It's nice. I originally think I was going to use this for planting, um, but like I said, I just discovered the uh, Axion. Um, so this uh, this will come in handy later on at some point. But yeah, I'm really excited to see how this how this tractor does. Seems to be a bit of a rough riding uh, machine here at the moment. <laughs> I don't know how these things are in real life. I've never, you know, I've only operated uh, regular, you know, conventional tired tractors. But I, I imagine it would be this shaky. So the uh, tire tracks are from the soil sampling tractor and we're going to get 
GPS system turned on. Field nine. Okay. And I just have to, it's kind of like a cheat for the G GPS system just to get it to do something. Uh, let's see. I guess you could call it guidance steering rather. Um, okay. Okay, there's our line. Actually, let's see, I wanted to do long ways. Hopefully it'll fix that. Might have to make a new track. That would be uh, useful for the end of the field though, once I'm finished. Just gonna unfold it now. Alright, back to the menu. Yeah, okay, the width was correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now, okay, now we're ready. And I guess that's where the edge of the field will be. It's going to start here. It's actually, it's, yeah. Uh, that, th that works. Okay. I'll make sure I need to select the right seed now. My menu will work. Yep. Scrolling through the options here. Canola. Got in staring on, let's just get oh, gotta knock down that speed. <laughs> Planting speed. We'll do seven. Give myself a little bit of turnaround clearance there. Okay, ready to go. Perfect. So this thing looks pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, so about the edge there, it's not that big of a deal. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I don't try to cover 100% of the field, and in fact, I um, whatever the GPS system's gonna do, I'll just let it shape the field for me for efficiency's sake. Um, because we may may very well uh, end up on the edge of the field on the other side, so if we lose this side, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm not that concerned. I can always plant something around the edge um, with a smaller planter, experiment around, do border crops and things like that. So, so that was the beeping to let me know it's time to turn around so we're not driving into the road there. Oh, I hit something. Damn. I hate it when I do that. Too many buttons. Okay. And it looks like it's a pretty tight turn, so I might do every other row, actually. Give myself more room. 
first now I'm in between both rows. We'll just start here. Hey, okay, not too bad. So I should uh, be turning every other row. That was my bad. Just give myself more room. So yeah, this thing's pretty smooth. I mean, uh, I'm liking this. Nice and easy. Nice looking tractor. This might be a keeper. I like even the little GPS screen shows alternating rows. <laughs> Plant her out off, and we'll go to the next row. Yeah, this thing's really quiet. I'm impressed. It's a pretty smooth machine. There we go. Down again. So this field won't take too long once uh, once it's all said and done. And I'll switch this. I like using that map. So yeah, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, Memorial Day, currently as I'm recording this, uh, May 27th. So I think the last uh, of the day I first created this map, the save file uh, was April, mid-April of 2020. So like I said, about four years, <laughs> four year gap uh, between now and when I was previously on this map. So I, I, I do like this map a lot. Uh, it's a nice break from California map and uh, where else? Oh yeah, Wisconsin, which is relatively new to me. Yep, I was a little behind on that one. Be the last. Uh, let's see, how are we gonna get on the edge here? No. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Crap. Hmm. So we probably, yeah, that's interesting. It probably would have been perfect because I started on the edge of the other field, on the other side. Shoot. Uh, okay. Well, like I said, not a big deal. So instead I'll just start on this row and that uh, row. Oh, 
Ah, so yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about the edges now. Might just do like um, a small, small planter for you know test plots and things, and could do like sunflowers or something around the edge, or we'll see. Whether this field will now be saved, hopefully, uh, so I don't have to create, I don't have to worry about it in the future. back from the other rows. Looks like there's a little bit of an offset there. I don't know why. I'm just covering our own tracks maybe on that edge. A bit of weed, weedage in the field. Hopefully, it don't pop up. Of course, now I just ran over it. And I'm probably spraying the seed. <laughs> Early spring, though, so maybe not. So one more pass on uh, long ways on uh, after this row, and then just gonna finish up the edges, and then we'll be done. It was pretty quick. It's a pretty small field compared to what I have been planting, and uh, <laughs> I've been making a lot of mistakes uh, previously. So this one's going pretty smooth at the moment, leaving my edges for last. I usually forget to do that.
All right. Just gotta get turn around for this edge. Probably just back up right there. Let me see if it will auto-generate a new track for us. Oh, okay. Look at that. Perfect. Auto steering is on. Just gonna have to lower the planter. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, we're gonna have a look. <laughs> now I get to see my oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Well, I was following the um, the beeps, the beeping. So I don't know why there's a gap there. The beep, the sa the sound is supposed to tell you to stop, so you can fill in the edge. Right, later, I don't know. Ah. That beeping that I just mentioned. And now I'm driving up a hill, so I'm just gonna turn around. Ah, man, let's fold it up now actually fold it up instead of accidentally. Yeah, I don't know why there's a gap. That's weird. Should be a gap. Anyway, we'll head down here and see if it's going to line up with us um, for the end bit. And I'll probably get a tiny planter and get creative with filling in the spots that I missed. Um, it's not worth doing an entire pass with the planter if I'm not going to be hitting all the rows. If that makes any sense. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this machine. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Oh, we got a little, little bit of a uh, grade change right there. I thought that was another field, but I guess not. I don't know what that is. It's an opportunity to put a building there, I think. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, gonna be another gap here, I figured that. I don't know why, though. Like I said, it should be lined up. Okay, unfolding back up a little bit. Yeah, I've got a gap there. That's unfortunate, but I can fix that pretty easily with, like I said, just a small planter. I could even plant the same crop. I was thinking about, you know, doing like uh, uh, something to separate the, that a little bit. But we fill it in with canola. Oh, but this is interesting. Look, this is where it's going to fit perfectly here. I have no clue what's happening now. <laughs> I have no clue why there's such a gap in some places. Maybe my timing was off on raising and lowering the planter. User error, most likely. All right, that bit's done. Fold this up, go park this for a little bit. All 
Uh, let's see. I've done this right. So yeah, hell of a machine. Uh, cool looking machine too. I think I'll leave this here for a minute. Alright, uh, I think I'll just... Yeah, I'm gonna hop in the Fent. Oh, it's over here. And just head down to the dealership real quick. And pick up a, uh, tiny width, I don't know what to call it, small width planter. Sure, my dog's not gonna jump out in front of me. There he is, like sneaking. There he is too. He always. Oh, okay, he's gonna sit. This thing takes up a lot of road, actually. <laughs> Got these wide tires in the back. Hmm. Just occurred to me I'm gonna have to... If I'm going to get a tiny with planter, I'm also going to need to cultivate for it because uh, I don't have any small planters that uh, can plant direct in the standing crop. So uh, let's see. I do have the capability on this, so I might have to drop the loader arms. I've got to finish moving all this stuff <laughs> down the road at some point. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's the one I need. So, just a small planter. Oh, okay, the hero. For the fr I can do this for the front end. Yeah, okay, so this is what I need in the front. Uh, cause... Let me just double check. Uh... Oh. Oh. Oh, hold on. Oh, holy, I forgot about all these. Oh, okay. I'm mistaken. I forgot I had these. So they can plant direct. Oh, alright. And... Oh, okay. I see. Three meter. <laughs> wow. I forgot I had all this. I thought all this was available. Oh, that one can do, go direct. Okay. Seems like there's two of those. I don't know. 
That's also a three meter. Maybe it's the different crops I can plant. So that one can plant direct. Three meter can only can do that. Um, hmm. What is the difference between all these? Oh, I guess the amount of seed is one thing. Oh, this one's a little bit wider. I might just go with this since it looks like it's pretty small compared. Yeah, this one's this one's long. Yeah, I don't think I need all, all that stuff up front. This will probably work. Okay. Oh, you know what? And I can also... So I'll show... Pick up a bucket while I'm here. Or forks, what do I need? <laughs> what do I need, actually? I'm going to be doing hay at some point. I'll go ahead and get this. Hmm, hmm. Different brands? That's interesting. Alright. Look up to the planter first. Good. Okay, yeah, things yeah, things very compact. Perfect. And we will see if it actually is telling the truth about planting direct. Because uh, I didn't think I had that many planters I could do that. got all these different, I'm just looking at the top left corner there. Now I've got all these different buttons I've got to push. Uh, let's see. Oop. Like that. And, wow. There's a lot going on. Okay, yeah, close this. I think we're ready to go back on the road. Ooh. Pointer has no lights.
What is that monstrosity? You don't remember this thing? Of course I remember it. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it's from. It's a tricyclicon. Do you remember this? Indeed. Where have you been? Do you remember this? Where have you been sticking your brubby fingers? Do you remember this? No oh, idea. Yes, I thought you were this one. First, I was just picking out cool things that I found from the bed, but then I said, fuck it. Just grab the whole bag. Yeah. I think this is a favorite of yours. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, too long ago. Yeah, it's a Hot Wheels out. Yeah. And it's, it's metal Ford, on metal. It's a Ford GT90. It's made up. No. All words are made up. Icebreaker.